In the period between the two world wars, sophisticated entertainment meant Cole Porter and the Gershwins in America, and over in England, the legendary Noel Coward. His plays and songs were filled with nimble mots and sly double entendres, all sending up shivers of impropriety with allusions to sexuality, gender conformity, and gasp, infidelity. It's all very well, but how does that play a quarter century into the 21st? Wikipedia describes Noel Coward's 1930 play Private Lives as a comedy of manners, which for 2024 audiences would be the kiss of death given the coarseness of our political and entertainment life these days. But ACT's artistic director Pam McKinnon has a better idea, and we can see the results in ACT's production of Private Lives now at the Tony Remby Theater through October 6th. Pam's contention is that this play is the forerunner of Edward Albee's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and both plays tackle the weird love-hate games and abuses that accompany passionate marriages and relationships. The play opens on a hotel balcony. Elliot is there on a honeymoon with his new bride, Sybil, but it's clear he's still obsessed with his ex-wife, Amanda, and can't get her out of his mind, though he hasn't seen her for five years. Next door and sharing the balcony are Amanda and her new husband, Victor, there for their honeymoon, and of course, she is still obsessed with Elliot. And then Amanda and Elliot meet, and sparks fly. By moving the locale to Argentina, though not the time period, and taking advantage of the tango-beaten heat, director K.J. Sanchez manages to clear away the English cobwebs that make the play feel dated. Broad physical comedy helps, of course, as well as the marvelous performances of Sarita Ocon as Amanda and particularly Hugo E. Carbajal as Elliot. This is a production that never could have played in the 1930s. Beyond whatever implications toward the serious subject of incompatible relationships, can't live with them, can't live without them, this Private Lives is ultimately a very funny play and a laugh-out-loud production. ACT Artistic Director Pam McKinnon. Again, there's something about Coward and sounds similar to Albee. You know, there is a reason that almost 100 years later, Private Lives is, you know, completely engaging and valid and funny and harrowing. Private Lives, directed by K.J. Sanchez, plays at ACT's Tony Remby Theater through October 6th. For more information, you can go to act-sf.org. I'm Rich Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.